Hey guys, welcome back to Helper Function. In this video, we will discuss another popular interview question, implement stack using queues. So the problem statement says that we need to implement the following operations of a stack using queues. Push x that will push element x onto the stack, pop that removes the element from top of the stack, top that will get the top element of the stack, and empty that will return whether the stack is empty or not. Now we need to do all of these using queues, not stack. Let's say we are given with these set of instructions. So we have to make a stack. First we will push 1. Then we will push 2. Now for pop operation, as for a stack, the top element should be deleted. So we will delete 2 from this stack. And now for the top, as the top element of the stack is 1, we will return 1. So let's see how we will solve this using queues. Stack works on LIFO model, that is last in, first out. If I need to push an element into the stack, it will be pushed at the top of the stack. And also, if I need to pop the element from the stack, it will be popped from the top of the stack. That is, whichever element has been pushed into the stack lastly, will be popped first. But Q works on FIFO model that is first in, first out. If I need to push the element, it will be pushed here. But if I need to pop the element, it will be popped from the front. That is, whichever element has been pushed first will be popped first. Let's say I have this stack with elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, if I need to pop the elements from this stack, my order will be 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So here what we have to do is we have to make a stack using a queue. So let's say if I need to achieve this pop sequence in a queue, my queue should look like 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So now if I perform pop operation in this queue, the pop sequence will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So thus we can see that if I need to achieve the same pop sequence, the elements in my queue should be reverse of the elements in my stack. Let's say, again, if my stack has elements 1, 2, 3, the pop sequence should be 3, 2 and 1. So I need to push elements in queue in such a way that the queue elements should look like 3, 2, 1. And if I have achieved this, then I can simply call queue.pop in order to pop the elements from the stack. So let's see how we will do that. Let's say I have a stack and I want to push 1 into my stack. So in queue what we will do is we will push 1 because the reverse of 1 is only 1. Now let's say I need to push 2 in the stack. This time if I push 2 in the queue, this will not be the reverse of what we have in the stack. That is what we want in queue is 2 comma 1 not 1 comma 2. So how can we reverse that? Simple. Whenever we are pushing an element into the queue, all the elements that are behind that, we will pop those and will push again in the same queue. So let's say at first we will have 1 and 2. I am pushing 2. So what I will do is we will pop the elements from this queue. So at first 1 will be popped and we will push this element in the same queue. Thus, 1 will come here and we will have 2 and 1. So let's say 2 and 1 is achieved and now I need to push 3 in the stack. So again what we will do is, I have 2 and 1, so I will push 3 and now I will pop all the elements before 3 and again will push in the same queue. So first 2 will be popped and we will push 2 here and then 1 will be popped and we will push 1 here. Thus, it will become 3, 2, 1. Again, let's say I need to push 4. So again, this time we will have same kinds of operation. We have 3, 2, 1 and now we will push 4 and now we will delete all these elements and again we will push in the same queue. So first 3 will get here, then 2 will get here and at last 1 will be here. So what we have in our queue will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let's say if I want to pop the elements from the stack, so we can simply use queue.pop 
and the sequence will be same as this tag that is 4 3 2 1 so in this way we can achieve a stack using a queue now the push operations here requires order of n time because every time we will be pushing element in the queue we have to remove all the previous elements and insert it into the queue again so this will require order of n time the pop operations requires o of one time because we need to simply call queue.pop now let's quickly look at the code we are given with four functions push pop top and empty and we need to write the code in that for that first we declared a queue now for the push operation as explained in the solution we will first push this element x into the queue and after that for all the remaining rest element that is whatever will be the size of the queue we will take it minus one and we will pop all this element from the front that is let's say my queue has elements as one two and three and now i am pushing element four so my for loop will work from one to three and every time i will push the front element of the queue that is at first one will be pushed into this queue and one gets popped out again two will be pushed in this queue and two gets popped out and at last three will be pushed into this queue and three will be popped out thus my queue elements will be four one two three now for the pop operation we need to also return the element that we have popped so queue dot front will represent the element that we have popped so we will take that in a variable and simply perform queue dot pop operation and at last we will return k for the top element we will simply return q dot front and for empty if my queue is empty then the stack will also be empty so we will simply return q dot empty so this was all about this problem the overall complexity of this problem would be o of n because for the push operation we required order of n time i put the problem link in the description so you can go and solve it if any doubts or suggestion please write in the comment and if not subscribe to the channel yet then please do that thank you so much for watching